Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into another challenge run inside of Clash Royale using this giant graveyard deck and hopefully going for 12 wins. Now, currently we sit at 7 and 1. This deck's been treating me pretty well. Honestly, giant graveyard's been a staple for a long time inside of the meta. You've got the poison spell, tombstone, cannon card, ice wizard, tornado, mega minion, lots of different defensive combos. And I wanted to go ahead and hop into it today. Let's see how we can do inside of this 12 win challenge and see if if we can get it done all right let's do it i'm gonna go ahead and hop into this right now and uh, let's see how we can make this work uh as i said giant graveyard pretty common stuff people have been playing this on the leaderboard basically everywhere else starting with the mega minion never really my my favorite play in the world uh we will get some really nice value right here on this hog rider so i'll go ahead and slap that down right there mega minion will clean it up as well and uh, all in all, a pretty steady start to this game. Uh, how have you guys been liking Clash Royale right now? I wanted to ask you guys to figure out what, what your thoughts are on the current state of the game. I know, you know, everyone's waiting for the big update. Clan Wars has been the uh, teased update over the last bit. So uh, I'm sure you guys are steadily waiting for that. But it just seems like less people are watching Clash Royale than ever. I know my friends like Nick and Mold, they basically stopped posting Clash Royale. Well, not basically stopped posting Clash Royale, but they posted a lot less of it in playing Fortnite and other games. And, you know, for me, I'm still having fun, but but, you know, I'm really looking forward to some sort of new game mode or something similar to come out inside of the game to really, you know, invigorate people and want to play it because as of right now, it just seems like most people are, are uh, chilling out on the game. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and keep doing what we're doing. I've got my tornado, which is going to do okay. Hog Rider should die in a moment. Skeleton's doing a pretty good job. Not the worst defense in the entire world. Uh, but yeah, I've actually been playing a couple other mobile, mobile games recently like Vainglory, Rules of Survival. I know that PUBG is coming out on mobile and I was thinking about posting a couple of those. I've already posted Vainglory and rules of survival on my channel um, but i wanted to see what you guys had to say are there any games that you guys are playing right now uh, to check out because honestly i want to give them a look i mean definitely for now i'm going to keep playing clash royale and i'm really excited for the clan wars update if that's what the update ends up being that they've been teasing for the last bit uh, but at the same time if there's any games that you guys have really enjoyed playing let me know i'm always down to check out new games and uh we'll, we'll see what happens anyways yeah this battle's looking okay i'm not really paying the most attention because i've got so much or it's because I'm talking about so much. But let's do our cannon cart, which should target this musketeer and then turn around for the other musketeers. Oh, please don't die to that musketeer. Are you joking? Wow, that was sad. <laughs> All right, that uh, didn't work out the best. We're just going to get our uh, tombstone ready again for this hog rider. And musketeer is going to lock on. A little bit slow reaction time for me is going to cost us a couple hundred damage, but we should be able to figure this out. We've got giant graveyard poison, which should be okay. We've got to play our uh, cannon cart right here clean up some of these guys uh he's probably gonna just throw down his three musketeers again so we'll have to focus on those when they come out but we'll see how we want to do this and maybe actually maybe we can do something else maybe we don't have to play something on this side for the uh for that he's gonna throw his his uh, hog rider down right here so i'll use my skeletons and then ice uh golem right here to put in some work and this might be a push that we can actually make work. This hasn't been the uh, prettiest game so far, but we're gonna go ahead and get our graveyard going down. We're gonna have to tornado um, everything together, plus use our poison spell, because he didn't have enough elixir for the three musketeers, which is gonna work out really well for us. This tower is gonna get destroyed, and guys, that's gonna be GG well played. Pretty nice end to the game right here. Even with that mega minion getting uh, retargeted, we should be fine. Uh, at least we'll just maybe need another poison spell. But hopefully that'll be the uh, end of the game and nothing crazy will happen. All right, GG. Tornado's going to go ahead and almost throw the hog over the river. That's going to be the end of the game. And uh, that's going to be win number eight inside of this challenge. Not bad. Not bad at all right there. 241 left in OT to pick up this dub. One to zero. And uh, let's get into round number two. I think that matchup was pretty good for us. I think basically we had to make a really nice defense to where he couldn't defend with his three musketeers. Or we had to like tornado his three musketeers to the same side. I actually didn't do that in the inside of the entire battle. So maybe we can do that inside of this one. Let's go ahead and get started with a nice golem. Calm and steady start. It's going to force him to make the next play since he only spent two elixir on his ice golem. And uh, Expo is going to be the name of the game right now. So I'll just poison this down right here, I guess. And uh, that's basically going to be all we do. We played seven elixir. He has played eight elixir. So we're going to get a little bit of tower value right there, which doesn't feel too terrible as well. I'm going to play our Mega Minion extremely late as he might get ready with something like a, a Tesla to try to defend this um, Expo. 
but looks like he's just going to be chilling for now. And uh, since that expo is going to go down, I'm actually going to go ahead and go hard in the paint right now with this uh, with this giant graveyard push to see if we can pull something out right here. Graveyard placement was a little bit off, which did set us back a little bit, but we should be able to get a couple of skeletons hitting the tower. Looks like we're going to get that tower down to below half HP, but guys, I feel like there is a storm brewing. Unless he did actually spend a really good amount on defense right there. And we're actually doing pretty good. I'm going to eat up all this damage right now. He'll play his Expo, and we'll just go ahead and throw our Cannon Cart down for a Positive Elixir trade. Very nicely done with that Cannon Cart to save our butts right there. We're actually going to have that Cannon Cart with one HP left, but it's not going to be able to survive on this other side. He's going to play Skeletons anyways. Uh, that was definitely... Well, actually, I don't know. One hit from the cannon cart doesn't make it to the tower. I, I don't exactly remember, but anyways, we'll get our Ice Wizard going down. And, and basically, guys, we just have to stay aggressive with this deck. Um, not do anything too silly, and we should be good. Maybe he's going to... What is he going to play here defensively? Um, depending on what he does. Okay, we're going to go and do Graveyard defensively right here because his Mega Minion and his Ice Golem or Ice uh, Wizard will have been locked on already. I'm going to tornado everything together for our Ice Wizard to get some nice value, plus to keep them out of range of our Skeletons. Tower number one is going to go down to zero, guys, and uh, this game is looking so, so good. Now, that was a beautiful time to get our, um, our Cannon Cart back right there, so we're going to go ahead and use our Mega Minion to try to clean this up. We've got to also use maybe our Giants or something similar. Yeah, our Ice Golem or our Ice Wizard actually did a great job of staying alive. Our Giant's going to come back alive. The Tornado going to do nothing, guys. This matchup, pretty pretty brutal for our friend right here, City. And uh, with our Ice Wizard to clean up these Skeletons, I guess we can do a Tombstone as well if we need to. A Cannon Cart across the way. And uh, this should be the end of the game. Unfortunately, not too much City can do right here. Tornado spell is actually going to be pretty cheeky, but Mega Minion having that tower down is just going to swoop right over the top and take him out. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of the game, guys. Uh, one more, I guess, graveyard. One more giant. That was a really poor graveyard placement, but... Guys, we're, uh, we're not going for any sort of style points right now. We're just going for that second tower, and that will be the end of this. So overall, this deck is working really, really well for us, guys. We've uh, we've cleaned up pretty nicely. That giant actually would have gotten onto the king tower, and uh, that's going to be the end of the game. All right, so far, we are 2-0 and inside of this challenge using this giant graveyard deck, and we're at 9-1 and inside of, this, uh, inside of this push right here, and we're closing in on 12 wins. You guys know that there's only two cards left for me to max out, and I want to get those done right now. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can let's see if we can make it happen. Uh, I'm feeling good. We've been actually playing better than I ever have recently. Um, for some reason, something to do with the meta. As we do make a mistake right there, I I've been playing my cards initially way too quickly, as, as you guys might know. And as these Mega Minions come closer, I'm going to use our Giant right here. I'm going to let that Miner actually. I'm going to activate our King Tower with that Miner since he did give me some nice value right there. That should work out okay. Giant's going to get a swing or two on the tower, maybe. Actually, it doesn't look like it will, so we're going to have to use our Tombstone defensively and then follow up with our Cannon Cart to get some nice value here. He is rocking the Giant's... Wait, what deck is he playing? Is he playing... So I played the Pr Double Prince Giant Electro Wizard deck, but it didn't have a Miner inside of it. So I'm a little confused as to what this guy's playing, but he's playing Double, I guess Double Prince Miner, which is a definitely an interesting deck. I'm going to get our Mega Minion down to clean this guy up. Shouldn't take any damage, I don't think. Yep, that's going to be able to hold that off right there. Overall, you know, we're doing pretty well. We're even on Elixir, but our definite advantage is having to... Uh, or having activated our King Tower, which is really good. One thing about our deck is we don't have a really great uh, tank killer, so you got you guys have to keep that in mind. But since he did invest five elixir on the other side of the map, actually he invested ten elixir on the other side of the map. It's obvious he's going to be giving up tower number one, and he's simply going to be focusing on this other side. So let's uh let's get this prince charged up in a moment over here. Maybe we can do something with this. I'm going to play our Ice Wizard, maybe, to distract the Prince, and then we can tornado it over to our King Tower. Wait, is the Prince actually going to go all the way back over to this side? Okay, that was definitely not what we wanted, guys. So we're going to have to play our Mega Minion. And, guys, I think we have officially lost the game with that defense. Oh, man. He got a very spicy push off on us, and he got so much value. We're going to be able to actually hold him off, and we're up a little bit of HP on his King Tower. But, guys, he definitely has the better deck as we enter into two ta or one tower, town, tower down territory. Um, because of the fact that we have our graveyard. And now he's going to have the King Tower every single time that he wants to pretend or protect his graveyard. So things are going to be a little, little bit tough. Uh, obviously, his his Prince really good for taking out our Giant. Our best damage per second cards are our, uh, our Tombstone as well as our Mega Minion. So I'm going to go ahead and follow up with these. I'm going to let this all go through, actually, and bring these together into the Poison spell. Maybe we can use the... Uh, 
the Ice Wizard as well to clean some of this up. So both Giants are going to get burned down. Fireball value will be given in the very end. Sad that that had to be the case, but guys, do we just go for the Gusto right now? I think we do. I'm going to go ahead and drop our Graveyard, then our Giants, see what we can get done right here. I don't think it's going to be much, though. <laughs> We're going to have a couple of Skeletons beating down that tower, but his Counter Push is about to rock our world for only 600 damage we did on his King Tower, guys. That is a, not a positive Elixir trade by any sense of the imagination. Tombstone coming through. Got to get our Tornado spell ready. Oh man, so much stuff inside of this tornado spell, but I don't think it's really going to be enough. We did end up killing the uh, giant, but way too much going towards our arena tower, and that's going to be the end of the game. Okay, I actually felt like we did we did okay inside of the battle. The one mistake we made was maybe we should have gone for the three crowns. So when we went giant graveyard after he went giant in the very back, was there a way that we could have defended that giant prince push? I don't think there was. So maybe it would have been better to just drop offensively on the other side, but I, I still think we, we probably would have lost that. So uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That was tough decision making right there. Maybe we shouldn't have dropped, gra dropped Giant Graveyard in the first place, even though it did get us the tower because in the end, uh, it, it ended up giving us a fat L. So anyways, let's go ahead and go hard again. We've got our Giant coming down right here. I'm going to play our Poison spell. Um, trying, I tried to wait off in the poison spell to get a little bit of value, but obviously it didn't work the best. I'm going to drop our Mega Minion to steal some of these minions over, but not too many minions to where he would kill my Mega Minion and do nothing. So we're going to do okay right there. Mega Minion's going to die. Overall, he played a decent chunk of Elixir. Uh, of course, we did as well, but uh, yeah, I think we're looking okay. And was that Ice? I think that Ice Wizard was bad. I think that Ice Wizard was the one mistake I made right there that killed me. If he eats this Ice Wizard damage, he's going to have such an Elixir lead that I'm not sure there's too much that we can do. Um, I could do the math in my head for what he spent right there, but I'm going to save my brain a, a couple of brain, spell, brain cells. And, uh, okay, so he did play the Goblin Gang to counter our Ice... Or, sorry, not our, our Ice... Uh, not our... Not, yeah, our Ice Wizard. He dropped a Goblin Gang to counter our Ice Wizard, and that was basically the end of that push. All right, well, he's going to be going in again, this time with the Elixir Collector in the other lane. I'm actually going to follow up right here with our, our Cannon Cart Giant, and if he plays uh, his Minion Horde, we're just going to go ahead and poison that down right here as soon as possible. Wow, Cannon Cart's going to be, or Battle Ram's going to be coming through right here. All right, we should be able to take those Barbarians <coughs> out fairly easily and get this Cannon Cart on a counter push, which isn't too bad, but he does have his Elixir Collector now, which is a very scary card so we're actually gonna have to graveyard this in the very back and maybe we can do something tornado oh why did i tornado guys i think the tornado is very very unfortunate we're gonna have skeletons brewing but oh no uh we are so broke right now we have less than five gems to our name we are so broke and guys that's uh that's definitely how the cookie crumbles he's already at 10 elixir with a full elixir pump right there ladies and gentlemen boys and girls Things are about to get real, real nasty. Close your eyes and uh, prepare for the prepare for the stench right now, guys. It's uh, it's not going to be pretty. All right, well, we're going to have to let that Musketeer damage us on the other side. Prep a uh, Tornado spell to bring some of this stuff back. Musketeer uh, obviously got value on that other lane. He did end up playing a Zap, so that's okay. If he goes for another... If he goes for another... Mm, actually... If he went for another Elixir Collector right there, I would have been much more scared. He's going to go for the Battle Ram. What is he going to do next? He's going to play three Muskies. All right, those are going to get run into on this side. And uh, at this point, we need to get to our Tornado as soon as possible for this push, guys. A very nasty push coming out right here. Mega Minion's going to do its best. Uh, he still has that Musketeer, though. Uh-oh. Got to play an, I, a Tombstone in the Musketeer's face. The Musketeer's still shooting! Oh no, guys! That's gonna be the. Uh, that's unfortunately gonna be the end of the game. All right, GG. Well played to uh, our good friend Mohammed Alesh right here. Oh, I forgot to play my ice goal. I was trying to play it as soon as possible. All right, we ended up going two on the two to the day. So nine wins inside of this challenge isn't the worst thing in the world. Honestly, we made so many mistakes inside of that second loss right there. Instead of the first loss. Uh, we, we didn't play the best, but honestly, I feel like I played that one okay. I think the matchup might not have been in my favor once, especially once we went one tower down. I feel like the game was over. So let's go and get our, our challenge chest right here to see what we get. We're going to get 11,000 gold, four elixir collectors, a bunch of cards that we don't care about, hopefully getting a legendary card. Ah, we're going to get 
five balloons. All right, guys. Well, this is sort of what I'm up to right now in, in Clash Royale. I, I'm basically just grinding out challenges, doing a little trophy pushing when I can. Um, and uh, yeah, this is sort of just what we're doing. I'm really looking forward to that new feature coming out inside of Clash Royale. Obviously, they keep saying it's going to be Clan Wars. So I'm really hoping that Clan Wars, you know, can change, um, you know, the game and mix things up. I feel like we're at a point right now, similar to where we were before challenges were released inside of the game, where there's just not a whole lot to do. It's mostly just either grind the, you know, the trophy leaderboard um, and, you know, keep trying to climb that, you know, for the, you know, for a couple weeks and, and hang on by the end of the season. Or you can play challenges, obviously, which require gems. Uh, but the latter right now, obviously, is not very fun to play if you're free to play. So I really just think we need something new inside of the game. Something new to bring Clash Royale, that new car smell back, I think would be pretty solid. Uh, but I'm going to keep grinding away, playing decks, getting ready for whatever that new feature is. And hopefully you guys will stick a ride along for the ride. And that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about in the, com in the comments section below. What do you think, you know, you'd like to see come to Clash Royale? What are some other mobile games that you're playing right now? Have you guys tried any like the mo mobile battle royale games, which personally I've had a lot of fun with, like Rules of Survival and, and, and PUBG uh, from Tencent and uh, or PUBG Mobile? If you guys didn't know, PUBG is a mobile game. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. That's gonna do it for this video. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.